sad to say, but some of these people, their bodies will probably never be found. Officials in Hawaii now say it could take weeks to complete the entire search of the burn zone on Maui. Later today, President Biden, the First Lady, they're both going to be traveling there to meet with survivors and first responders. NBC national correspondent Miguel Almaguer joins us now with the very latest. And Miguel, let's just start with the president's trip. What can we expect from that? Well, Craig, the president and the first lady are expected in Lahaina later on this afternoon. They'll visit the heart of the burn zone. They'll spend some time there with first responders as well as victims, family members. But they're not being welcomed here by all. There's some concern that when the president arrives here, he could have a several road closures in progress in the wake of his visit. Those roads are used to distribute vital things like clothing, like food, and other items that survivors need. So there's some concern about that. There's also been issues raised about FEMA's help. There offering food and housing to so many and also that initial $700 payment. Some have criticized that payment, say it's simply not enough to start to rebuild their homes and their lives. So all eyes will be on the... Yeah, $700 is nothing when your entire house and everything you own has burned away. You can't get a new house and clothing and food and stuff like that with just $700. President, meantime, in the burn zone, it's about 85% complete. The search there for the missing, the death toll still stands at 114. Now, the number of unaccounted for initially was at about 2,200. That dropped down over the weekend to about 1,300. The good news today, at this hour, it stands at 850. But though it is still a very devastatingly high number of people, who are still unaccounted for, Craig. Yeah, that's still a lot of missing people. You mentioned FEMA and the response. Uh, as you know, a lot of folks still asking a lot of questions about whether they did enough, whether they did it soon enough. What's been the latest uh, on the reaction there to the disaster? Well, Craig, Hawaii's governor spoke over the weekend, and for the first time, he said he wished that those emergency sirens had been sounded. Of course, just a few days ago, Maui's top county emergency official resigned under pressure. He said he did not regret sounding those sirens. He also cited health concerns for his resignation, but the governor said he wished those sirens had been sounded. It may have given folks more times to evacuate, especially with that death toll and the, the concern that it can continue to climb. Meantime, the ATF remains here on the ground. They're looking for the source of this fire, what caused this blaze. That is, of course, a major question here, not just for victims, but also for survivors, Craig. All right.